Welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see, we got some work to do. This kitchen is a collect all and it is very much showing that. So uh, I'm gonna start by just decluttering these counters, get everything cleaned up, put away, reset. Uh, and honestly, while I'm doing this, I noticed that some things needed a little more attention. So we're going to be deep cleaning as well in today's video. So I hope you guys are ready. If you're going to clean with me, grab those cleaning products and get to cleaning. And if not, I hope you enjoy the content. <laughs> uploading issues yesterday and it has been a literal nightmare i i don't know for whatever reason my full video just would not upload and then i was starting to not only have problems with youtube but i was also starting to have problems with my app and it was a whole ordeal my video got deleted you guys so i had to re-edit everything um so i hope that you guys will give this so much love because this video took a lot out of me <laughs> so um that is like the behind the scenes outside of filming the whole editing aspect of it um usually it goes a lot smoother but for whatever reason this video just gave me a whole lot of trouble so it is what it is but i hope you guys all enjoy i definitely I love filming these videos for you guys just not only does it help motivate me to get into my home get things cleaned up picked up put away uh, and just you know reset everything but I also love filming these because I hope that my motivate the motivation that I'm filming for you guys I hope that it helps you guys and helps motivate you to clean your homes gives you ideas on how to organize things um just maybe spaces that you guys have been missing while cleaning you know any any of those types of things so i really love just giving you guys all the motivation i also really love sharing um inspiration i love inspiring you guys with decorating and decor i am so excited that christmas is coming I will be decorating. Uh, my decorate video will be up in about two weeks. So I cannot wait to share that with you guys. But um, I also hope that you guys have been enjoying the shopping trips. Uh, we've went to Kirkland's. We've went to Hobby Lobby twice. I hope that you guys maybe saw some things, maybe some new things that you didn't know were out and that are available for you guys now. Uh, but yeah, I, I really love just sharing everything with you guys and I, I appreciate all the love that you guys give me on my videos. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I just really wanted to let you guys know that I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys sticking by me and sharing my videos, commenting on my videos liking my videos it all helps my channel to grow and it sure is growing so i just wanted to let you all know that i truly appreciate it like i said i love filming for you guys so if it helps you it's also helping me and i just wanted you to know that I 
was so excited. My order of Nespresso pods showed up and you guys, <laughs> they have the new holiday scents out. Well, they're not new. They're, they're the same like yearly, but they only keep them, you know, for the season. And my absolute favorite is the, uh, I almost said pineapple. Oh my goodness. I do not like pineapple. <laughs> especially coffee um no peppermint peppermint pinwheel i am so excited i love all things peppermint peppermint mocha like all the things guys so i am super excited um you my, my favorite ice cream of all time is uh peppermint stick oh my gosh yeah so excited for the holidays like all all of it all of all of it <laughs> um but anyway i got my order in so i wanted to go ahead and fill up my jar when i went to fill it up though i noticed that it was a little bit sticky um i don't know if it was like a buildup of like dust or if something got on it but no big deal i just cleaned it up a little bit before restocking uh, but yeah, so I also picked up um, gingerbread. I forget what the exact name is, but it's gingerbread and then a pumpkin spice cake, I think it is. I have not tried those two yet, so I'm super excited to try them, um, especially because those pods are like full coffee cup pods, not, not espresso. And so I'm with the drop in temperature that we have had here in Florida, I'm super excited to pull out a mug and just drink some warm coffee i am so excited for that so not excited for the cool down <laughs> but don't you worry we'll be back in the 80s before you know it um uh, but yeah so um also side note here i when i went to put the toaster away earlier i noticed that this cupboard was uh yeah full of crumbs <laughs> Um, also, just a side note, I do want to say that this is a judgment-free zone. I ask that you guys do not judge me and I will not judge you. What you do in your homes is your personal business and what I do in mine, yes, I am sharing it here, but I'm sharing it to help give you guys motivation and to also show that, you know, crumbs are normal, dust is normal, houses get dirty, we live in this house, uh, we are a family of six that lives in this house, so... Anyway, I just, yes, yeah, so <laughs> just to put that disclaimer out there, but when I was putting the toaster away earlier, I noticed that this lazy Susan was awfully, awfully dirty, full of crumbs. <laughs> so I went ahead and just vacuumed that out. I don't know if you guys know or not, but on your toaster, there's usually drawers like in the bottom of it that hold all the crumbs. Um, and so obviously it's been a minute since ours has been cleaned out and they overflowed into the lazy susan so also i just wanted to give you guys a close-up of like some spills and drips and runs and just some of the dirty this one's kind of hard to see i don't know if you can see it um that well but yeah definitely things got spilled down the front of the cupboards the base cabinets are definitely worse than the upper cabinets but we're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up as well i will come around and let you know i'm always coming back I get a lot of questions on our cabinets. Um, if you're new here, we moved to Florida just over a year ago and we gutted our kitchen. So um, we didn't get the floor. The floor is what was there before, but we tore out all the backsplash, um, uh, appliances, cupboards, all, all of those things. We didn't change any of the layout. Uh, we didn't change, like obviously there's still a header there. Um, and all those types of things. Nothing like terribly big because we did the entire project on our own and we wanted to keep a very small, we had we had a very small budget for our kitchen reno. So 
I did share all that. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, definitely do and check out and see. This kitchen has come so far uh, since we bought our home and I absolutely love it. But back to the cupboards. These are, I think, the Arcadia cupboards from Lowe's. We, they are prefabbed cupboards um, that basically you can buy. They're, you can walk into the store, pick them out, buy them. There they are. Um, they're already available mostly. I don't think we had to order anything. If I remember correctly, I think everything was in stock. So anyway, um, and we also got a discount for buying everything, which saved quite a bit of money, uh, overall, but Anyway, I, back to the question, you know, I get a lot of questions on how well these cabinets are holding up since they are very affordable. I will say for the price you pay for these, I absolutely love these cupboards. And if you are, if you are looking to redo your kitchen, definitely check them out. Um, especially if you're doing them yourself, it makes things a lot easier that they're already pre-built. They're easily accessible, um, affordable and easy to install so like i said my husband and i did this ourselves our kids helped um <laughs> especially when it came to like the uppers we have never done anything like this before so don't judge on that aspect if you're a contractor um just don't look <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but anyway, we absolutely love the cupboards. They are holding up very well. They are great quality. They clean well. Um, they, you know, all the things. So I have had no issues with them. I absolutely love them and I would highly, highly recommend them. So I did share a little bit of what kind of content I post for my new friends here, but I did want to let you guys know what I have coming up. We have a lot of good stuff coming uh, with Christmas coming. I cannot wait. I, I literally have the rest of the year planned out and you guys are going to continue getting three videos a week as long as, uh, you know, YouTube app on the internet, all the things <laughs> align so that I can do that for you. But I am super excited. We have... Um, I think we're done shopping. I do have to actually officially go out and buy everything that I have intentions of buying, which is not a whole lot, but I definitely have um, uh, plans to share the, that haul with you, um, kind of share an idea of what I have going on, what I like in my brain <laughs> um, planned out for the season. Um, I also plan on going through some of our old decor, uh, just kind of declutter that, go through it, clean it out, see if there's anything that I can use for this year. I also, um, well, because we need to decorate for Christmas, I need to undecorate and take all the fall and Halloween stuff down. So that'll be coming soon, just to kind of, you know, inspiration or motivation to clean out get everything set up for the holidays i oh i can't wait i am so excited are you guys excited too because i don't know i don't think i've ever been so excited for christmas to be here i i just i don't know i don't even know what it is you guys but i am so so stinking excited but um obviously uh, we're gonna be decorating for christmas and all the things i have um some ideas for like a hot cocoa bar, a tablescape or place settings, uh, you know, just decorating for Christmas. Um, we, I'm going to go ahead. Um, I know you guys seem to like when I share what I'm getting my kids for Christmas. So I definitely plan on doing that again for you guys. I have some new wrapping present uh, gift wrapping ideas um, or tips and tricks for that so I can't wait to share that for you guys but if you're excited for Christmas give this video a thumbs up because yeah I am so excited also I do want to give you guys an idea so for October 
Um, since it's Halloween, it's spooky month. Uh, if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, definitely go check it out. It is um, at bean underscore Mrs. Frazier. I have been sharing every night um, in the month of October, my family has picked a Halloween movie. Um, they can go anywhere from cute and friendly it all the way up to gory, horror, spooky, you know, all the things. So, uh, basically we're talking, you know, from Spookly the Pumpkin all the way to like Jigsaw or, uh, Texas Chainsaw. <laughs> Anything and everything goes in this house uh, when it comes to Halloween, and we are so excited. We absolutely love it. Um, but yes, so we all picked out five movies a piece, which makes up 30 videos. We are not doing one on Halloween because that's the night of trick or treating. Uh, and then we, every night, well, basically, I printed them all off, cut them up, put them in a bucket, and we draw a movie every night to see which one we are going to watch it's so fun we've done this for the past like few years and my kids really just look forward to it we also do it for christmas so uh for christmas though we do one through 24 so it'll be four videos a piece and i am so excited so i need you guys to list your favorite christmas video or movie down in the comments um to help give me some ideas to help prepare me for uh our christmas movie nights the kitchen reno we did end up um, upgrading our appliances we just had some like whirlpool stainless ones that were cheap scratch dented you know all the things um from when we moved into the house and i have always wanted black stainless so we picked out these beautiful frigidaire gallery at black stainless appliances i absolutely love them and highly recommend them frigidaire is literally the best appliance maker um, I think, if I remember correctly, they also make, like, Electrolux, Frigidaire, it's all under the same company brand, and I would highly recommend them all over. <laughs> um, Hubby has been in the appliance business for, like, 14 years, something like that, maybe 15 years, um, so, and that was what he would recommend as well, but anyway, back to what I was saying my point behind bringing them up i was going to tell you guys that i am just using a vinegar um water solution and then i use a little bit of um, essential oil to help um, break up the vinegar scent so it makes it really super easy to clean the appliances i was really afraid you know, my husband recommended the Zep stainless steel cleaner because that's what he uses at work. And so I bought some, um, but then I read something that that can like the stainless steel cleaners don't do well on black stainless. So I got really scared to <laughs> ruin my brand new appliances. So I've just been using, uh, just the vinegar water mix, or sometimes I'll even use just, you know, a wet wash rag with, uh, some, or wash rag or dish rag, whatever you want to call it. Uh, no judgment here. <laughs> Um, I was raised by Iowa farm people, okay? So I say wash, I can't help it. But anyway, um, I really like to use the vinegar mixture or I will even use a wet wash rag, dish rag with a little bit of Blue Dawn on it. So just to wipe down my appliances. Honestly though, these appliances, like they do not get the fingerprint buildup like our old appliances did, so. Yeah, I, I absolutely love them, but if you're looking for an easy cleaning solution, I definitely recommend the vinegar water mixture. Like I said, I just use a little bit of essential oil, just a couple drops in there, enough to kind of mask the scent. And no, my house does not smell like vinegar. No, the spray. I mean, it has a little bit of a vinegar scent, but it doesn't leave that vinegar scent behind. You know what I mean? Um, but also, I have a question, you guys. So... I love our trash can. 
uh, it gets dirty, which obviously that's why I'm cleaning it. But I need to know, is it a big deal that it's stainless and nothing else is stainless anymore? I guess our faucet is stainless. I never thought about that. So does that clash? Does the faucet clash? I don't know. These are random things that run through Tammy's brains. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys just listening to me ramble. You guys are seriously, I have some of the best subscribers and I absolutely love you guys. You guys are seriously just amazing. Um, and I, I don't know. I am truly, truly, truly just so grateful for you guys. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to the ceiling fan. Our fans run pretty much 24 seven here. Um, unless the temperatures drop like and the high is only going to be like 50, 60 degrees, the ceiling fans are on. So, um, but for whatever reason, the switch accidentally got shut off and I noticed how dirty this fan was. You guys look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I could not believe the buildup when I saw that. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to clean these fan blades. So I am pretty sure that the rest of the fans in the house look about the same. Um, so look forward to that video because when I go uh, do some deep cleaning in the bedroom later on this week, there's definitely going to be some cleaning of the fan in that one too. If you're looking for some good dirty motivating content it's it's coming i promise <laughs> because it's been a minute but anyway so i just wanted to get the heavy dust off of there get it off clean it with my swiffer i did have a reusable pad on there but i don't really like that pad so i just threw it away and i actually ended up replacing um some with my blah i don't know what i was gonna say i got new swiffer wipes basically for when I go to do this again. But anyway, I cleaned all that off and then I wanted to go in with just some dust spray and then get all the little bit that was left behind. And see, there was a little bit left behind. Gross. <laughs> Show me your love like it is, like it is. Then open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless You'll notice that I don't put the dishes back out or the plates back out when I remake the table. Um, I was feeling like it was just overwhelming it was too much and i just i was over it so i didn't put the plates back out um but unfortunately because it was no longer crowded um our lottie the little white calico ugh, she's so naughty she decided that she was going to start chewing on the black um i forget what it's called at the moment but that netted like table runner and yeah we had a mess of one the other day and it was like half coming out of her stuck with all her processed food if you're catching my drift without me actually saying it and yeah so sorry tmi i apologize but oh my gosh it it was a uh yeah so that is no longer there i took it off uh, she attacked the ghost. That's why that ghost is like all over the place as well. Uh, so he is no longer there. So now we're back to just candles and the regular striped like farmhousey look uh, table runner. <laughs> Cats are great, guys. Um, you know, when they're not. They're great. But yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. But Anyway, um, it's just time to go ahead and mop. I'm using Fabuloso. I absolutely love the purple Fabuloso. Um, I use it all the time. I will, I do plan on though when that one runs out, I think I'm going to switch to Pine Saw. I don't know if you guys watch uh, Living with Cambria, but I absolutely love her. And um, she lives not too far from me. So she's been using Pine Saw and she highly recommends it, especially down here in Florida to help deter bugs and stuff like that because... We're we live in Florida. We we can spray and spray all we want, but sometimes bugs just get attracted to homes. And yeah, so I think I want to give Pine Sol a try. I love the Pine Sol scent. I haven't used it in forever. 
Um, but I definitely think I'm going to check it out the next go around. Uh, but anyway, guys, this is kind of basically the end of the video. I chit chatted all the way through it. I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, you guys will have to let me know if you guys prefer more music or if you like the chatty videos. So anyway, guys, I hope if you guys have not already, I hope you hit that red subscribe button. Come along and join my YouTube family. I am so grateful that each and every one of you are here with me today. Um, but anyway... I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.